Hey, it's Mikey Dunn, and it is day two of St. Petersburg, Russia. And we are here at Peterhof, which is a huge palace and grounds with gardens and stuff that St. Peter built back in the day after visiting uh, Versailles in France. He was very influenced by Europe. So I've never been to Versailles, will someday, but we're going to see all the beautiful architecture of the palace and the gardens. And then after this, we're going to go on a hydrofoil, which will take us back to St. Petersburg in like 30 minutes. It took an hour to drive here, so that's got to be really fast. Look at this. This room is so cool. There's like gold everywhere. <laughs> and now we're going into another room. We have to keep moving in this palace. Leon, what do you think of this so far? What? What do you think of this? It's really pretty. It's very pretty. I have the urge to just touch everything. Don't touch! In fact, here in this dining room, they served ice cream, oh, which was very difficult to make back in those days. I love ice cream. So this would have been my favorite room. <laughs> what do you think of this so far? They make ice cream. <laughs> what do you think of the whole mansion so far? It's like Luigi's mansion. <laughs> They're getting a little smaller and smaller and this door after door after door. <laughs>
Okay, we are done with the inside tour and then we are going to be walking down to the gardens and the lovely landscaping down there. Ooh, it's really bright and sunny. Another fun fact about St. Petersburg, it is only sunny here around how many days? 60 days a year on average? It was like, it was either 40 or 60. I'll put the right amount down here. <laughs> um, but we were lucky that yesterday and today are both very sunny days. Temperatures in the high 60s, low 70 degrees here. Sorry. Right, uh, yes. <laughs> We're now walking down to the gardens down here and we just went on the first path and I'm already like amazed. It looks magical with all these well-trimmed trees and mowed grass. I took a buttload of photos. <laughs> Same. Well, I took more videos. Oh, I'm falling off the stones here. <laughs> oh, I hear a tour guide speaking to us. My radio cut out and I kind of missed why there are dragons up here, but I'll look it up later. Right, Tris? Oh, it's pretty cool. Big ass mini golf course. <laughs> kind of does, but all the fountains are on now and there's some, there's two more back here. You can see them. But we have some free time to take some pictures and then we're gonna walk down to the hydrofoil. Go back to St. Petersburg. Hello. Hello. What, what is happening here? I'm taking a picture. Oh, I'm taking a picture of them. <laughs> <laughs> that was horrible. I think I need some help. Alright, we just left the fountains back there, and now we're walking down this path through the woods, and it's known as Trick Fountain Road because Peter the Great had these little fountains installed. You can actually see them down here. Um, and he would bring his guests through this road, get them all wet, and their makeup and all the stuff on their face and the powder would come off. Because he wanted to see the real true people. So that was kind of like his style. You know, <laughs> I've heard of people watering their plants, but this dude waters his guests. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he was a very authentic guy, I guess. <laughs>
this garden alone is 250 acres big. I just love these rows of trees and the fountains and the squirrels and everything here. But my battery is kind of getting around half or lower, so I'm gonna probably stop vlogging here and then save the rest of the vlog for lunch and our destination after that. All right, we are now leaving Peterhof and we are gonna jump on the hydrofoil boat which will take us back to St. Petersburg. Oh, there is a bird and it is loud. We're making our way to the hydrofoil. Leon, are you excited? Yeah. What do you expect? Do you think it's going to be very bumpy or very smooth? I think it's going to be smooth. So then I'll end up falling asleep. <laughs> We've been... I always fall asleep on boats. So. Uh, I yeah, I always fall asleep on trains, like the subway, yeah, regular yeah. trains. Oh my god! But I think it might be a little bumpy because it's gonna go really fast. But we oh, will see. I never thought of that. Yeah. Well, we'll see. Make your bets. Okay. <laughs> your dad. Mm. Well, he's never really been on one, so maybe he doesn't know. We'll see. We are now on board the hydrofoil. Leon and I are here. Mom and Tristan are sitting here. But Tristan is standing for some reason. <laughs> I'm just grabbing my coat around. It, oh, okay. I think we're sitting backwards. We will find out and we will see how this thing actually works because we have no idea. Now that we're back in St. Petersburg, my camera's dying. So hopefully I can like sneak some footage of lunch before it dies. But first we gotta get back on the bus. Get it on the bus, hold on. <laughs> All right, let's get back on Yeah, it looks like what potato they just opened it. 